Today's video is how to not look like you're sick. And right now I'm dying. I just came back from London like a couple days ago. But basically I'm gonna show you guys my go-to makeup look when I'm sick. Also, I'm just gonna be answering a few of your questions. I really don't open up to you guys and let you guys in on my life. So I want you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So right now I got my green tea right here. And I also have my fuzzy socks on and my little sweatshirt and I just feel really comfortable right now. So I'm gonna just hang out with you guys answer a few questions and do my makeup so let's jump right into it so I'm actually gonna be using these Wonder Beauty baggage claim gold eye masks and I've been using this recently and I love them because I feel like it gets rid of all the puffiness and especially when you're sick I know I get really puffy underneath my eyes and I just get a lot of bags so I'm just gonna leave these on right now and I'm gonna answer a few of your questions so a lot of you guys actually ask how tall I am I'm actually only five four and a half but I always say that I'm 5'5 five five because it's just easier to say it like that. I wish I was taller though. I wish I was like at least like 5'7, five 5'8. Five my mom is actually like 5'1 and my dad is like 6'3. I'm like literally right in the middle of them so... Yeah, I'm not really that tall. Also, a lot of you guys were asking like what my setup was for filming. I have two umbrella lights from Amazon. I have a ring light in the front, and then I have my um, 5D Mark III camera, and it has a little Rode mic on top of it, and then I also have my monitor. This is the Asus monitor and I'll link everything down below just so you guys can go check it out and then for Instagram you guys always ask how I take my pictures so I either use my iPhone camera which is the iPhone X and I also use my 5D Mark III for certain pictures and then sometimes I like shoot with photographers and everything so I'll have pictures from them and then I use Lightroom and visco depending on the lighting of the picture i will be doing a instagram video i'll show you guys how i pose for the pictures how i like take them so it's coming very soon i'm actually gonna take these off feels so much better underneath my eyes i'm gonna be taking my cetaphil pro oily skin moisturizer and then i'm also going to be using this auto correct brightening and depuffing eye contour cream from sunday riley this also has caffeine in it so it's going to get rid of all the puffiness so next up i'm going to be using the laura mercier foundation primer radiance and it just makes your skin really dewy and moisturized again when i'm sick my skin is extremely dry especially around my nose area when i'm blowing my nose like 50 times a day so when i'm sick i don't like wearing foundation it's just like pointless because whenever i blow my nose it ends up coming off anyway i'm going to be using the maybelline dream bb pure and this has salicylic acid in it so it's gonna help with any little breakouts that you have. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face with my beauty blender. So one of you guys asked, have you always lived in LA or did you just move recently? And I've been living in LA for a year and a half now, which is so crazy. Yeah, I moved from New Jersey and I lived in a town called Turnersville, New Jersey. And it was about like two hours from New York, which was really cool. It was also really close to the beaches in New Jersey. And then it was really close, like 15 minutes from Philadelphia. When I was 16 years old for my 16th birthday, I wanted to go to LA. My mom took me for my 16th birthday and ever since then I've been obsessed with it and I know it's so annoying because every YouTuber moves here but it honestly is a really good career choice because there's a lot of opportunities out here for YouTube and everything like that. Nobody in my town ever really moves far away. I mean it's great to stay where you're living and everything but if you're passionate about something and you want to do something and you want to move somewhere else definitely do it. Don't listen to anybody else. Honestly if I listen to everybody back at home that told me like are you able to afford it out here? Are you able to like actually do YouTube as a career? Then I probably wouldn't be here. I didn't actually have a job yet. I was just going to come out here um, get an apartment and find a job. And my management that I'm with now for YouTube reached out to me and now I'm working with them and I've been working with them ever since I moved out here and I totally believe in the law of attraction. If you just go for what you're passionate for and you go for it and you believe in it 100%, the universe or God or whoever you call it will make it happen and it is so true. I'm just going to be using the Born This Way concealer and this is the multi-use sculpting concealer on some of the breakouts that I have. I can already tell that my Jersey accent is coming out in some of the words that I'm saying. When Whenever my mom comes to visit, I swear my accent just comes out so much more. It's 
so funny when I get comments and you're like, what is your accent? Some of you guys think I'm from like Canada or um, like the South, like Texas and stuff. It's so funny. So next up, I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rind Concealer in the color Neutralizer. I'm only going to be using a little bit of this, dot it underneath my eyes and get rid of any like dark circles that I have and maybe a little on my chin. So one of you guys asked what was high school like for you? I actually went to nine years of Catholic school and then I transferred to a public school but I was actually like a pretty big nerd guy when I went to Catholic school and then I had like braces and glasses and then I finally got contacts and then I got my braces off and then went to a public high school. I was kind of like the new girl. It was nice to see like a school going from like a Catholic school to a public school and how different it was yeah I met like so many of my friends I have like a couple friends still from high school that I talked to next up I'm going to be using the Glossier storm cloud paint I thought I would use it today because whenever I'm sick I just lose color in my face and when I went to Glossier they actually told me to put a little bit on like the bridge of my nose just to make it look like you've been like Sun kissed. Next up, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, my favorite. And one of you guys asked, what are your fitness goals to be healthy or stay in shape and thin? When I was younger, I honestly like wanted to be a Victoria's Secret model. So I tried to get in like the best shape of my life and I was so worried about being really super thin. As you get older though, I feel like you care less about being super thin. Yeah, I just like really work out just to stay in shape. But for me, when I work out a lot, I do end up losing a lot of weight and I just lose my butt and my boobs. But recently I've been going to a class called F45 and I've been going there a lot. It's a bunch of different circuits and the music is blasting and it feels like you're not even working out. So I'm gonna be moving on to my brows and this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I really like this one. One of you guys asked, what's your goals for 2019? I have a lot of goals this year that I want to accomplish, but I guess the first thing that I really want to do is uh, start acting and actually going out on auditions because I've been taking my acting class for almost a year now, which is crazy. And I finally feel like I'm ready to go out there. In the past, I've done commercials, but I never did actual like acting and scene work and all that. I'm really trying to start that this year, and that's one of my goals is to like book a job in acting. And for YouTube wise, I guess, just like to continue growing and for you guys to get to know me a little bit better because I know I haven't really been myself, I guess. This year is just like the year to just go for it not care as much what people think of you because guess what you cannot please everybody and i'm such a people pleaser too so i'm finally starting to realize like you really can't please everyone and if someone doesn't like you then so i'm going to be taking my glossier boy brow and this is just like the transparent color they also have like other colors in this which is cool because if you just are on the go and you want to just brush through your brows it's like the perfect go-to product so recently I just got these Laura Mercier caviar stick eye colors. So I think I'm going to be taking this color in rose gold and I'm just going to put this all over my eyelids um, and just blend it out with my fingers because they're actually really, really creamy. And then to define my crease a little bit, I am going to be taking this light brown color from the Morphe palette. Then I'm going to be taking this matte one in Vanilla Kiss. And I'm just gonna put this in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone just to brighten them up a little bit. I'm gonna be using the Buxom Blackest Black Mascara. This is my favorite mascara at the moment. So I'm gonna be using the Butter Bronzer and this is the color Deep Bronzer. And this is my favorite bronzer. I've been using it for like months now and it's just from like the drugstore. I think it was like 10 bucks. So one of you guys asked who are your favorite YouTubers to watch? And recently I've been loving Best Dress. Her name is Ashley but her channel is so funny and her style is so amazing all of her videos she puts so much effort into them and I love Margot Lee she's my favorite I met her at Coachella and she's just so sweet and so beautiful in person and I love watching my friends like Kiana Naomi and Liv Vargas and everyone like that so I'll link all their channels down below so you can go check them out because they're all so amazing so next up I'm gonna be using this Becca shimmering skin perfector in opal but it's a cream highlighter and I'm just gonna be putting this on some high points of my face just to make my skin look really nice and dewy. One person asked what self tanner do you use and I love using um, Loving Tan and it's in the color dark but sometimes in the summertime or if I would just want to have like an extra 
tan. I'll use the ultra dark and it's the best stuff ever. Also going to be using this Carmex lip balm. One of you guys asked what's my favorite song at the moment and I've really been into Chelsea Cutler. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her but you need to check out her music. I've like listened to her music years ago but then recently she just came out with a new album and this one song I'm so obsessed with. I'll let you guys listen to it. So I'm asking you to She is so amazing. I love all of her songs, so you definitely should check her out. But would you guys want to see like a drive with me video? Let me know down below or are they really cringy? I just feel like you guys would cringe at me if I like was jamming out in the car. So let me know if you want to see it because I'll try to film it. So I'm also going to add the Glossier lip gloss and this is just the clear transparent gloss. The last thing that I'm going to do is take my Skin Fix Coconut Water Hydrating Mist and I'm just going to spray this all over my face <sighs> so now my skin is looking really dewy and glowy and even though I feel dead inside still I look a little bit more alive and a little bit fresher looking honestly you can wear this look for like an everyday makeup look or like a no makeup makeup look. It's really natural and it's just like the perfect go-to dewy look. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I hope I answered some of your questions and you guys got to know me a little bit better. And don't worry, I'm gonna be doing more Q and A's in the future and I'm also gonna be vlogging more and all of that. So make sure that you guys are subscribed down below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Say goodbye